Okay, now a little bit of food. As always, when you want to evaluate limited, you plug it in. This is the logarithm of secant 0 divided by 3 times 0 squared. Secant 0 is 1. Logarithm of 1 is 0. Over 0. Now ready to apply L'Hopital rule. Remember the idea behind L'Hopital rule is differentiate the top part and the bottom part several times until so you will differentiate plug it in one more time in the indeterminate conditions continue you apply L'Hopital rule several times until disappear the indeterminate condition. Well, so the derivative logarithm is the reciprocal of the argument is secant. Time the derivative secant is secant time. Mm -hmm. Divided by 6x. Okay, secant cancel and stay alive. Tangent x divided by 6x. One more time, you put it in. Tangent 0 is 0 over 0. One more time, you apply another log there. The derivative tangent is sigma squared. And the derivative 6x is 6. Now, I suppose, I suppose in this moment, you blow it in. Secant square 0 and 1, 1 square 1, 6. The answer is 1 over 6. Next, is it limited? To sure. Limited. When the x approaches to infinity, over so of the 2x square, sorry. Divided by e to the 3x. You plug it in, it's over this infinity over infinity. Now, look at it. Look at that. Look The derivative is, is 4x. The derivative this is 3 e to the 3x. Plug it in again, infinity over infinity one more time. Therefore, we continue to apply up the rule several times. Lobby the rule again. Lobby the rule. Yes. Derivative is 4. Derivative is 9. E to the 3. Now plug it in. Plug it in 44. And this is exponential to infinity. is infinity. Now 4 divided by infinity is 0. It is 0. Our limit is 0. Now plug it in. This is zero cubic time logarithm of zero plus. Zero is zero. My logarithm of zero is minus infinity. This multiplication zero times infinity positive or negative is also indeterminate. There's another kind the indeterminate. It's more complicated to to to, to delete that. Therefore, I need to do something algebraically. Now, this limit is equivalent to say logarithm of x divided by x to the minus 3. And when you plug it in here, logarithm of the 0 is minus infinity over this is this is actually is 1 over x cubed, you know? You put it in zero here as infinity. And to say it's ready to apply L'Hopital rule now. Ready to apply L'Hopital rule now. Derivative the logarithm is 1 over x. Derivative the, this is minus 3x to the minus 4. 
So algebra here is 1 over x times uh, minus 3 x to the 4 positive, que se equivale de ese x cubi, over minus 3. Now finally, plug in it. Limit when the x approaches to 0 plus, 0 plus of x cubi over minus 3. Remember, minus 3 is a constant, I put outside again, and the limit it when the x approaches to 0 plus of the x cubi is over the 0, because 0, 0, 0 is a negative 1 there, times 0 cubi is 0. Okay. okay. Well, in this case, you plug it in, of course. Uh, A is equal to the volume of infinity minus the volume of the infinity because no negative infinity, not positive infinity because the dominant is this. And this. This infinity minus infinity one more time is indeterminate. And this is very complicated to, to solve in that because we cannot apply directly log it at all. You apply the property for the logarithm. And this is subtraction to logarithm. It says logarithm of the top part is 4x squared minus 6. Uh -huh. And logarithm of the bottom part is 3x squared minus x plus 5. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And we can apply directly to the logarithm of this. So basically, this logarithm is totally interchanging, limited inside, logarithm outside. Of this is 4x squared minus 6, 3x squared minus 6 plus 5. Well, it's a easy. It's a logarithm of, you apply the dominant idea, this is approximately, approximately, no equal, approximately dominant. The dominant is this and this. This is 4 x squared over 3x squared. This squares cancel and stay logarithm of 4 thirds. Uh -huh. And this is the answer. That's it.